Welcome, my friends, to the Battle of Guadalcanal. It looks like the Japanese are coming into Bombard Henderson Airfield, and we cannot have that one bit. So we're going to be taking this force, looking for the Japanese fleet, and, of course, going from there. First of all, let's get that radar on, make sure we can actually spot the enemy. I don't think we need to worry about sonar, because, from what I understand, no submarines have been spotted in the area. Nonetheless, always good to have that sonar um, if you're in a campaign mode situation, which we're not. Here we go. Getting the good old Battle of Guadalcanal going. And we've already spotted the enemy fleet. Uh, I am going to try to mark these targets. I've learned that even if I don't know exactly what kind of targets they are, I can at least try to identify. So let's do that. Let's take a look here. Oh my goodness! Alright, that's scary. That's, that's beyond scary there. Looks like we've got some... I would classify them as battleships, but I'm not sure if that's what we're looking at, so let's try to identify here. Let's go for recognition manual. I'm not sure what kind of battleship it would be. Uh, what is the... Nope. Maybe the Fubuki? Or what about the Sendai? That's a light cruiser. We just need to look for an enemy ship that is a battleship class. Um, it's not going to be the correct one, but it's going to have to do. Let's classify that target as a Congo battleship. And I'm actually going to break Cushing off a little bit here to get a bit of a, um, a side shot, if you will. In fact, we'll start firing some star shell rounds. Let's make it happen. Do the same here as the Laffy. And by the way, I like to typically make my videos like full of action, etc. But if you guys don't mind this um, sort of um, technical part of the video, then please let me know. Because a lot of the time, it's quite important, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and target him as well. Do the same thing. Recognition. We'll call it a Congo, even though that's probably not what it is at all. Um, but at least we'll get the correct type, I think. And once again, switching to the Shell Shot. What I'm going to do, the Cushing is already turning, as you can see there. But I want to turn the O'Bannon as well. Let's have him turn this way. And start targeting this ship right here. We'll try to get a visual on it as well. Although I'm not anticipating full battleships, I hope not anyway. So that's going to be a destroyer. Recognition manual. Got to make it a Minakatsu destroyer type. Let's say that's it. Fair enough. Begin firing. And at this point, like I said, I just want to get the night sky lit up. I want to make sure that we see the enemy. Do the same over here. Get those star shell rounds up. And with the rest of our ships like the Atlanta actually going to send him out this way to try and intercept. We could also increase speed, but right now I think this is going to be sufficient. Let's have the Atlanta fire over here. And let's have the San Francisco fire over here. Have the Portland keep on firing at the Congo. And the same with the Juno, but I'm going to actually send him out this way and have him focus on the Minikatsu. A lot of star shell rounds up there. Recognition still isn't great for a lot of these ships, though. Let's take a look at the Laffy, for instance. So he is getting some decent hits there on the enemy approaching, and in fact, we could probably fire torpedo soon. I'm going to move him just a bit and also increase his speed and see if we can't get a torpedo shot here on the Congo. Man, how I would just love that if that was a possibility. Let's make sure we're switching to um, more salient round, although he's still not very easy to see. We're still having trouble with visuals here. Let's get those torpedoes out. Good, As good a time as any. 1,500 yards. Here we go. We'll even do some displacement. 
fire. This is a chance to use these twerps. I'm going to do the same with the Sterret. Going to kind of break right. And again, try to hit him with torpedoes. But for these twerps, I'm actually going to go for him. This ship right behind. Fire at will. The question is, are the torpedoes going to hit the Congo? Fire. There are the twerps. Oh! Looks like the Congo is also firing twerps at us. We pop some. They pop some. Here we go, guys. We're doing all the damage we can do here. It's absolutely going to hit us. Make sure we're over on high explosive, or sorry, armor piercing. Uh, and this will translate to all our ships. Let's switch over to the Sterret. Looks like the Cushy is sinking. But what I'm more focused on is getting the shots here with the, with the torpedoes. going to turn try and get the full spread let's be back over here with this ship and we've got a japanese destroyer it looks like sinking here going right into the water get back to the sterret i'm trying to turn her but she's pretty badly damaged switch over here to the Atlanta and I'm actually going to change her trajectory get behind the enemy over here we'll do the same with the San Francisco still firing at that Congo ship man talk about a true battle we've got going here he's at 32% I'm going to try to fire some star shell rounds here um, get that visual even better Let's jump back to the Sterret. Now he's got the use of the left, I believe. Yes, he does. Fire. Struck by torpedo. I'm not sure if that's us or them. We're trying to fire all the torps we can there. We should be able to fire. But it looks like we've got a lot of burning ships here on the enemy side. Not bad at all, guys, all things considered. I was hoping, though, for a nice torpedo strike. We still have this group going out. It could potentially hit the enemy ship here. Come on. Those twerps are getting close. Oh, I think we've got them. I think we might have them, guys. Three torpedo hits. Definitely a big help. If if they actually hit and if they're not duds and actually we've got some torpedoes heading for that other battleship so we are improving on this end here we go Dr one of them is a dud two duds now look at that guys the torpedoes are going out and we've got a huge group just beautiful let's see how this guy's doing not so good let's start focusing on that secondary enemy ship there and let's make sure we're firing armor piercers here to make sure we completely sink uh, the enemy. The Sterret is sinking. That's our beautiful destroyer there. Let's see how these torpedoes do, guys. I'm even going to try to fire some more if I can with a bit more of a spread. But I think we're good. I'm turning the ship. Let's see. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that group going for the Japanese ship. An absolutely massive one for sure. Although the Juno has also suffered a magazine explosion. Here we go. Boom! Many hits there. Many hits. Congo is hit yet again. See how the Portland is doing. And the Juno, unfortunately, is sinking. Out there all the way to chase the Congo. Let's see. The Obanion is also out there. Although I don't want him wasting his um, rounds unnecessarily. How is she not sinking yet? That's what I want to know. We could fire a torp there at her. I just want to fire, like, one, maybe two. 
because I want to save the rest of my twerps for this guy over here. So we will fire two twerps. Even that might be a little too much. Now let's focus here. Increasing speed. And for this, I will have a little bit of spread. So let's do four degrees of spread and try to fire everything we've got. Not sure why he won't um, fire. That's a bit strange. He's definitely got the range there. The Minikaze, though, is sinking, and so is the Congo, guys. Two huge Japanese ships sinking here. I love it. Look at the Congo sinking gang down below. You know how this works, brothers. Absolutely wonderful. Still, of course, some massive Japanese ships out here fighting. And I really do want to get those torpedoes off. Not sure what's going on why it won't let us do it. Let's try to turn completely. And maybe this will allow us to use those twerps the way we want. I'm also wondering if maybe fire control has been damaged. Um, something like that. Alright, let's see what remaining enemy ships there are. There's one directly ahead of us there. Just a standard destroyer. Light her up. Good shooting already with some really nice shots. And for these, we want to use the high explosive rounds. So let's hold and fire. There's no need to really lead this. It would be nice to get some star shell rounds up to spot it, but I think we'll be alright. It's for the San Francisco. She needs help. And you know what? I'm going to keep going just straight ahead because this guy's probably going to fire torpedoes. Fire at will. And actually, we could get some torpedo shots with the Atlanta. So what I'm going to do, switch to this guy. We'll give some pretty nice spread there. And let's fire. Might as well use what twerps we have, even if it is a destroyer. And in fact, there's an enemy ship trying to escape over here in the distance. Not sure if you guys see that. There are there's some torps. Although I think it targeted that ship and not this guy, which is the ship I was trying to target. Let's make sure that's high explosive as well. And I'll actually hold here for a full barrage. Man, talk about an animated fight. Let's fire. You know what? It's actually time we get some star shell here, even though he's really close. That's going to improve our firing solution dramatically. There we go. There we go. Look at that. And now we can switch over to high explosive. Maybe one more star shell round. Yeah, he's going so fast, it's not really doing much. I do also see another ship over here, but that's one of ours. It's just kind of hanging out. It's looking pretty good, guys. Now hold on, though. Look at that. Another enemy destroyer right there. I'm going to have to switch my target just to make sure we take him out. He is badly hurt. There we go. Some additional rounds coming in from our other ships. I love it. There we go, guys. We got yet another one. 
absolutely beautiful. I'm going to keep my focus there. I'll make sure the San Francisco is also targeting it. Yeah, because that's quite a big enemy ship, actually. Want to knock her down? Uh, let's get some star shell rounds up there. Fire at will. This is what the Japanese get for trying to attack Guadalcanal. What were they thinking? Unfortunately, the Portland has been struck by a torpedo there, likely chasing these other enemy ships. At some point, we'll call it a victory, but not yet. Um, we haven't bloodied them enough to call this a victory, I don't believe. Let's also increase the speed of the Helena there. Just want to keep her going actually north here so that we get um, the perfect shot against the enemy. Watch out for the San Francisco. The Portland is sinking. That I did not expect. That must have been a torpedo hit. How's the Atlanta doing? Cutting off the Minikatsu here. Or the Minikatsu's friend. Fire. Fire at will. Oh, this guy is going down for sure. I'm actually going to increase speed just to be able to um, actually keep up with him. There we go. We might end up actually crashing into this guy. Let's fire some torps. It's assuming the torps will actually fire. I think we only have torpedoes on this side. But that doesn't mean we're not going to try. Alright, let's go full speed ahead. I didn't want to crash into him. That would have been pretty bad for us. So instead, we'll speed up now. Start turning as well. And look at this, man. He's right next to us. This other Japanese ship is right next to us. Make sure secondaries are also firing high explosive. And we are going to turn, of course. Let him have it, boys. All right. It looks like we actually classified it finally as an Akutsuki class. Uh, and she is going down. Look at that. I love it. Want to make sure that our guys are keeping those repairs going, though, on the ship. It's looking pretty nice. And what about over here? Wow, we actually crashed into him. <laughs> he became a bit of a kamikaze ship. Um, and he's still fighting us. He is still alive, this ship. Not sinking yet. For God's sakes. Let's see what the San Francisco's doing. So as you can see, almost all of the enemy ships have completely broken away. Seems they're trying to retreat. Some of them, like this one, are actually on fire. Um, so I might attempt to still take them down at a distance. Yeah, baby. Like, let's give him some star shell rounds to be able to spot them better. Right. Yeah, he's still taking some massive hits. Look at that, guys. I can't believe the Akatsuki is still alive, but as long as it remains alive, we've got to keep it going. I'm going to try to just really go as fast as possible. Let's push the nottage up all the way. And we're already losing uh, some ship contacts, but at least now we're opening up. Look at this thing on fire. We've got to get careful. We've got to be very careful here because we could actually have some secondary damage um, due to all of the friendly fire going on. Akatsuki sinking finally. 
And I'm not sure if it's because we fired Twerps or something else, but now we're actually taking hits over here. We need our guys, specifically the San Francisco, to stop firing at the Ekatsuki um, and keep all focus on other enemy ships. So let's jump over here. Another one down! Beautiful, boys. We got him. Only one more Japanese ship left here. Everything else has been destroyed. And for the mercy, or for the, the mercy, for the glory of the sinking gang, I will be taking a look at that sinking. I know we could have gotten some much bigger sinkings filmed here, but let's face it, this battle was constantly touch and go. Finally, we came out on top. I like to think due to radar... <laughs> Good shooting and torpedoes. But let me know in the comments down below what you think. Why do you think we got a victory here? Uh, just barely got a victory. And keep in mind, the Japanese can't stand to lose nearly as many ships as we can. Uh, that's one big issue. That one's going to take a while. Sinking Gang's going to have to be patient. And that's a big one. Yeah, that's one of the big ones for sure. We're going to let that one get away. So one of the Japanese um, battle cruisers, I believe, will get away. Let's take a look here at the report. And as you can see, we lost 21,000 tons to the enemy's 47,000 tons. I'd say that's a victory at Guadalcanal. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And please continue to grace the channel with those likes, comments, and subscriptions. It's been our best month yet, and I want to keep that positive energy going. So help me out, my friends. Thank you so much and glory to the U.S. Navy.